So hey guys, welcome back to the Wild West Ranch. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to brush a horse correctly. First you want to get a nice curry comb. You can buy these everywhere. Yeah, McDonald's and stuff, but <laughs> happy toy. But, <laughs> but um, you'll find these. Uh, and they're made out of metal. They don't hurt the horse, but they just, they, they, they bring out the dirt. And you'll start up here and you'll brush it along, going along with their hair. And you'll be careful around the bony areas. Like they got bony areas here. And like, you know, around here, it's a lot of muscle and stuff. So you can, you don't have to be as careful with that. When you're getting up along the withers though, you need to be careful so you don't, you, you, you know, you could, you could hurt them right up along the bony areas because up along the withers, it's a bony area. So you'll start up on the front. You can do their neck gently because their necks are sensitive. And then you're gonna get along, you go along all, you get over the top of their back, you get along their rump, and you very, very, very gently, you wanna stay away, mostly, from the flank, especially with the curry comb, because it's a really sensitive area, and you could damage it easily. Brush it very gently or near it very gently because sometimes they don't like it they could kick and make sure you go in the direction of the hair all the time because like cats you don't ever want to brush them backwards so if, you, if you're going to be saddling them up you're going to want to make sure to get all the, the the most important parts like the withers here down along where the saddle goes and along their the line of their back and especially where the cinch goes, right down here, under, underneath, you want to get that really good. So we're gonna, we're actually gonna, we're gonna brush here carefully, of course, because the legs are pretty bony. And then we're gonna, gonna want to really get under here, because the dirt in there, when the cinch is on, it won't kill them probably, but, you know, if there's a lot of extra hair, could make the cinch it could even make the saddle flip over because the cinch is just covered in a bunch of slippery hair anyways after you've basically brushed all over not on the face with this so then you do the same with the curry comb on the other side and once you've gone all the way over her um, basically just not the face not right down near the hoofs you want to be really careful with this especially down near the legs. So once you're done with that, you're going to um, get out your soft brush. You can buy these, they're essentially soft brushes. I don't know why they have that name, but um, <laughs> they're just soft. So you can brush basically everywhere. And this gets the dust off and it gets hair off too. If the horse has a lot of loose hairs, it gets it right off. So you're gonna brush them basically all over this. If you're careful enough, you can even brush them on their face. So you're going to, again, you're gonna brush over everything. And this, you can brush over, you can brush down their legs, you can brush down like their neck, their face, their nose. Uh, I don't really know what good you get from brushing their nose. But, uh, I guess, if you want to brush your nose, you can. So basically, you're going to go back over again and you're going to finish brushing them all over. And we're gonna brush down the legs too. And do a quick run. So we're gonna wanna brush basically from the top down to the bottom. It should be a, you know, a nice gentle brush. Um, 
not very not really much to it just keep brushing and brush and brush and brush <laughs> you've done all that you're gonna go pick their feet but um, you know uh, we'll get to that in the next video you gotta get where the saddle is and the cinch especially so we're gonna brush down along here really good so um, you can also brush their mane and tail um, using a soft brush works works fine on their tails and mane but if you want to, you can just go to the store and buy like a woman's hairbrush and use it on their mane and tail. Or you could just uh, steal someone's from the bathroom that they left. Um, I'm sure they won't miss it. But um, so yeah, you comb it out. And then after that, you can take out your fly spray. And um, this is the new invisible type. Uh, we don't have any fly spray right now, and uh, but basically you're gonna fly spray them. Um, especially, you might want to stay away from where the saddle is, and uh, because and the cinch, because if the saddle's gonna be there, flies aren't gonna be there either. So it'll also make the hair slippery, and your saddle is likely to fall over. So make sure you don't do it. Okay. So uh, just make sure with the fly spray you get where flies normally go but not where the saddle is. You can fly spray them once you put, after you put the saddle on them, but you'd normally do it right, you know, before. And, you know, you should be good to be go. You should be good to be go. And you should be good to go, so. So if you want to brush the face, here's how you do it. Take a soft brush, and you brush their face. Brush really gently, be careful around the eyes. You brush really slowly around them too because it's really annoying probably to have someone thump something on your face going like mur, 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 mur. So I should be pretty good with this. You can brush around their ears very gently and carefully. That's pretty much how you brush their face. Be careful about, you know, sensitive areas on the face. You don't want them to freak out. So just be careful with it. So I hope you liked this video and found it helpful for you. And uh, if you liked it, just hit the like button. So yeah, you wanna make sure you subscribe. You can subscribe right down here. And if you like this video, you'll probably like this one. And it's about you know, how to feed your horse. And it's really helpful. So see you next time.